Some people are good and some people are bad and some people are fucking bikers. But hey, in Blue Iron on Amazon Video, you get to see the good, the bad, and the badass. Bikers and cops and Russian mafia and Mexican cartel, basically the cesspool of existence. God damn it. (laughs) Available with your subscription to Amazon Prime on Amazon Video, Blue Iron, a joint venture of Blue Iron Productions and Scott Will Kill Your Productions. Also, keep your eyes out and tuned and ears tuned for the Scott Will Kill You podcast network. Empire. Empire. I like it. Now we're going to just keep in the name longer and longer. A collection of podcasts of different topics and stuff that should interest you in life. And today's word of the day is cesspool. A pool of absolute filth that no one would ever want to touch or do anything with ever today's word is cesspool and welcome to the you our reviews will kill you the podcast so good at laundering sharks that we're full of shark juice yes i am the man they know as z and i am joined by my usual compatriots the toothless master noob noob yeah i like blue waffles Look, I'm a closeted racist, and I'm sexist, and selfish, and I dragged us all into my sexist, racist, bad things because I'm stupid. And I'm also joined by the infamous Scott Keebler. I got seven Mac 11s, about eight, 38, nine, nine, ten, Mac 10, the shit's never end. You can't touch my britches. Even if you had MC Hammer and the 357 bitches. Biggie Smalls, a million... And, and we have one additional guest... The Don Don. I'm here to offer you. I can't even do it anymore. What am I doing? The Don Don. It's a very gracious felicitation. It's a great time to eat the, the, the meatballs. Well, I was going for a Tony Soprano. It's a difficult situation. I thought Tony it's Soprano a very had a difficult voice situation. That's always that. all, all of those are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult it's a situation. Me, Mario. <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. He's an Italian course, New Jersey guy. Of course, Z like, goes man. for the uh, the meatball joke. Absolutely. It's a difficult situation. Nah, it's too Italian. Too so, Italian. what is on our docket today, Noob Noob? So we have Ozark, which is better than Breaking Bad, Netflix version, and Deep Blue Sea 2, which is better than Titanic 2, probably. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. But uh, then we have Waffle House, not to be mixed with Blue Waffles, which is a Googling item. Uh, Norm yeah, McDonald. Go ahead. Hop on your phone right now and Google Blue Waffle. You'll thank us for it later. Okay. Fake news. Yeah. And Norm McDonald, who played the dog in Dr. Doolittle. He's a thing <laughs> on Netflix. Doctor, that dog was adorable. <laughs> Don't fucking smirk. That was at me. a fun movie. Yeah, yeah it, it was. Fun. That was a fun movie. Back when Eddie Murphy was actually relevant. Yeah, yeah. Now he's not. And then Rick and Morty won stuff at daytime Emmys or no, some Emmys. They didn't win shit. Animated Emmys. No, they won. No, no they, they won. Didn't. They won. They, oh, they stay won. tuned to find out. Or did they? Or Take this. did they? So let's start with the news. Friends, I have good news for you today. Noob Noob, our first story. I guess we'll start with Rick and Morty finally won something for their efforts of a greatest show on animated television. I'm Pickle Rick! Yeah, Pickle Rick won for best outstanding animation on like some daytime Emmy thing. I don't know. It's like a Ooh, half Emmy. little flappy doodles are twitching. Does that mean you're aroused or did you just get a signal that one of your buddies found a grape? <laughs> yes! They were also there to present... Lick, lick, lick my balls! An Emmy. The actual Emmys. The real Emmys. Actual. For reals. Thank you very much. 
much. Nobody knows reality more than us because nobody's been to more realities. Right, Rick? Sorry, Morty, I'm doing it. I'm going off prompter. Oh, God, you promised. You guys want an award for reality? Here's a reality about your award. This is a living Emmy. You're looking at it before its feet are mounted to a wooden base and its wrist bound to a weighted sphere that holds its body in a celebratory pose while it's dipped into molten gold. It's an herbivore, it mates for life, and it's capable of complex emotions. How do you think Atlanta will do tonight, little fella? Rick, you're ruining the night. Oh, he says he is rooting for Atlanta because smaller crews mean fewer of his offspring die. You, you know, that is a complex emotion. Can we present the damn award? Everyone that takes one of these home is a monster. And the winner is RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> I think it's, it's kind of I do. Up. I do like that sentence right there. Everyone who takes one of these home is a monster. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. And I, I have friends who's won those things, and yes, you're a fucking monster too. <laughs> absolute monster, just despicable. That you would take such a poor, helpless being and dip it in molten gold and stick it on your shelf. Shout out to Rob. <laughs> yes, absolutely, you monster. The uh, monster. is the daytime Emmy real gold though? Probably. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they dip it in like lead first, and then they're like, "All right, let's twenty-four plate it." And then have daytime and then, Emmys for and then HGTV's it in third arsenic. sub channel, <laughs> <laughs> and then place it in arsenic. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. That would be yeah. poisonous. Uh, it would have been better if it was Australian uh, Bushworld Rick, where he would have just screamed at people. Australian Emmys. What would that have sounded like? Oh, uh, what? You win it in an Emmy, Morty. Yeah, you, you're going to have to drop your pants, Morty, because I'm going to have to suck your little Morty penis before I can give you this Emmy, Morty. Wow. Bravo. All right. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, I felt like I was oh, there. Geez. I feel like, I feel like you should get your own Emmy. Yeah. I absolutely deserve several Emmys, even though I don't think I do anything that's Emmy worthy. I'm sorry, what's that? I can't hear you over the sound of my deafening awesomeness. Yes, deafening awesomeness. Uh, in other news for Rick and Morty, uh, what have they been renewed? They The contract negotiations have broken down. I think we re- reported this before, and yes, it looks like ago. it'll be, what, seven more years? Oh, 99 wait. years? Nine, 90 more episodes? Nine, 90 more episodes, Morty! Damn. We're, damn. We're gonna, it's all about the Szechuan sauce, Morty! We're going we're gonna to get our story arc, Morty! It's, 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 it's going to happen 99 more years, Morty! It's uh, nine more seasons. It's been seventy new episodes. Seventy. Wow. So that's enough for him to get this. Well, they would get to sauce. Conceptually, they would get to ten seasons altogether. So maybe they're they're Morty. Their Rick and Morty arc will go beyond. Yeah, yeah, beyond the Szechuan sauce. Beyond Szechuan sauce. So, Noob Noob, what else is in the news? Uh, Norm MacDonald has a show on Netflix, and he apparently... What? Norm! Norm. Norm! Like normal, without Al. Norm! Yeah. He never watched Cheers? Is he from Cheers? No, he's not. No, that's a character No, normal. Ted Bundy is from Cheers. No, Ted Danson. No, it's the cat from Garfield. Yes, that's normal. That was Bill Murray. No, yeah. Garfield was Bill Murray, but no, not, right. not the other cat, the the little female cat. There's a female cat? In, in Normal. In Garfield, yeah, Normal. Is that the pink one? Yeah, no, it's gray. Uh, yeah, grayish. Oh. Oh, Bodie. that's Pink Panther. Whoa. Yeah. Mm. You've definitely got your, your You're pussy off the yeah, here. Definitely it's all too, over the place. Too many pussies to be <laughs> up. Yep, then. Black Panther. You don't know anything about pussy, you do. Oh, boy. <laughs> Pussy confuses Noob Noob. Yeah, so yeah. what's what's going on with Norm? Uh, he did stuff, apparently. I love how Donnie's like, can we just get on with this shit? Yeah. Because <laughs> Donnie's like, I need to talk about Norm McDonald. I'm he's actually the only really one who's watched Norm McDonald. his... Yeah. Don Don's got a need. Yeah. It's yeah, a Norm, need for Norm. Why don't you tell us Donnie, about Norm McDonald? just because you're I'll a fucking... You. Donnie, just because you're a guest here doesn't mean you can just come and fucking say anything. You know what you need to show? R-E-S-P-I-C-T. Some R-E-S-P-I-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So tell us about Norm McDonald. Other than that, he's the Doctor Do Little Dog. He is. Yeah. yeah. Which is always he's also him. Turd Ferguson, which aren't might you? be his best role of all time. Turd, that's don't that's know who one that of the is. best. You know, Turd Ferguson. Aren't you, know you the Turd news Ferguson? guy? You don't know the news. Who's Turd Ferguson? Are, 
I can't tell if you're... No, I from, really don't know who Turd Ferguson is. You There's an episode of SNL Celebrity Jeopardy where Norm MacDonald played Burt Reynolds, but halfway through the show, he changed his name to Turd Ferguson because it was funny. Sounds hilarious. It's there. really funny. Yeah. You know what? <sighs> All right, so Norm, Norm MacDonald has a show. Is Had the name of his show. Norm MacDonald has a show. E-I-O. And basically, it's... Uh, Wait, it's what's kind the of name of the show? Norm McDonald has a show. And what's it called? Norm McDonald has a show. Yeah, but what's it called? He does some... It, it's more of an homage to the Johnny Carson kind of early Letterman days of late night talk show where yeah, it's but just what's an the interview. the name of the show? And he has some really great guests on. David Spade started out a little Judge Judy. So yeah, that's Judge Judy's a I really still don't know Judge the name Judy of the anymore. show. What? Norm McDonald. I know why you love Judge show. Judy. It's the E-I-E-I-E-I-O. name of the show. E-I-E-I-O. It's the name of the show. We and understand. The thing is, people don't really aren't really jiving with it because it doesn't have the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon kind of feel. That's because no one knows the name of the show. What it's, is the name of the show? Norm McDonald has a show. It's yeah. the E-I-E-I-O. name of the show. E-I-O. That's the name of the show. The show is... Open quote, Norm MacDonald <laughs> has a show, close quote. That is the name of the show. So there's quotations in the name? Yeah. Okay. That's, That's how weird. titles work, man. E-I-E-O. And on this show, he had a guest. E-I-E-I-O. And he had, Obsessive. He does have great guests. Uh, he has M. Night Shyamalan on one. Michael Shyamalan. 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 Ding dong. Yeah. He's, and, he, and he's actually a really interesting interview. Uh, Michael Keaton's on there. David Letterman. He has Lauren Michaels on later. Like, the thing is... About this show, you have to have an appreciation for Norm Macdonald as a comedian. Obviously, he's very sardonic. He's you know, it's dry humor. But I don't, I don't like sardines. Yeah. Did you ever have those on pizza? They're very salty. Yeah, it's 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 kind of nasty. You well, mean he's of course, not, he's on this press tour where Norm was kind of talking up his show as uh, pressing up on women. Yeah, people are want to do. Um, Pressing up on women? He had a little bit of an issue, especially with Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show. He was quoted in The Hollywood Reporter talking about the Me Too movement, saying how it started with, well, we, everyone believes 100 women, or 100 women, excuse me. Then, okay, we have to believe the uh, account of one woman, then it turned into, we have to believe all women altogether. So now we shut the fuck up, Donnie. That was his quote in The Hollywood Reporter. Hates women. That's, allegedly. Well, that yeah, allegedly, right? That's how it was spun, and he did himself no favors by defending himself on the Howard Stern show. Stern show. saying pretty much anybody who thinks that rape is acceptable has Down syndrome, which is not, Wow, that's a little wrong of you to say on the air. Yeah, well, why would quoting. you say that? Hey, don't pop a John me. You, oh, won't, even, you won't even <laughs> tell us what the name me. of the damn show is. I, I've said it multiple times. Multiple times. I'm Donnie, not accepting Donnie, any more invitations Donnie, to come. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. <laughs> he did. Uh, yeah. So on the Stern show, he tried to make an apology because he was defending Roseanne and uh, Louis C.K. Louis, Louis C.K. Mm-hmm. And it uh, kind of blew up in his face. Netflix, though, still has his back, has not canceled the show. They have tried to bury it, though. It's It's pretty obvious. What, the show? Yeah. How well, so? it's just it's just tucked away down in the uh, selection. Well, they how many Netflix sh- Netflix originals have you seen that come up on the front page as soon as you open it? Right, and, uh, Norm Show has not been part of that, and that's been documented by a lot of different observers. Is it? Are are you? Do you work for Netflix? Do I work for Netflix? Yes. Are it, you giving us an inside Netflix story? I am a subscriber. <laughs> okay, well, hey, that's a, a cancer or something. Thank you, Donnie. You're welcome. <laughs> but in all seriousness, like, it's clear that they are trying to shy away from this controversy. Norm MacDonald is a bombastic figure in comedy, which is ironic. It's funny because when you hear his material, it's so... Just the way he goes about it, it's not like it's not big reveals or twists in his... Um, stand-up material but uh just he people just getting shot outside that's just all that <laughs> it is. sounds yeah. like yeah, yeah. the uh troops are coming for donnie he's just not afraid to be politically incorrect you know, as it were i mean especially you look at his tenure at snl the reason he was let go was because he kept making jokes about oj simpson that is, is his character and it hasn't gone away especially. it's probably because he's on drugs allegedly norm or oj norm 
Uh, yeah. I know Jay. Wasn't his best friend Ari Lang who uh, was so high on drugs that he stabbed, tried to stab himself to death? Yeah, Ar- well, Ari Lang's been like multiple times relapsed and fucked up and arrested and all kinds of shit. The dude cannot keep his life straight. Like he's tried multiple times, multiple books, multiple shit, and just every time he goes right back to the same old game. Norm seems uh, a little burned out. He is also on the Mike Tyson uh, mystery, mystery show. show. Yeah, that's yeah. a funny show. Yeah, he plays a pigeon, which says ridiculous things. I would say if you're not look, it, the irony is as politicized as the press tour has gotten. If you're looking for kind of a comedy talk show that is void of politics, Norm Macdonald has a show. Which is the title of the show? Uh, Are you is, sure about that? It's interesting. It, it's it's worth worth the experience. Worth worth the try. I well, would recommend. Donnie, it. thank you for that riveting review <laughs> of uh, the Norm Macdonald show, which you have not yet seen. Uh, we look forward to the next time you come back. Just uh, we'll give you a call. Don't call us. Okay. Well, you called <laughs> me the first time. So what does that say about you? Okay. Let's, I, what, I've noob, noob, what's next? I before. can't tolerate this bullying the and, cyber bullying. oh my gosh uh, we're not oh cyber bullying we're God. bullying you in real life yeah there's you nothing are in cyber fact about this sitting in front of us and i'm you looking are at you. you calling you an asshole it's not that hard <laughs> <laughs> we are real life bullies i'm up yes. front i'm up front about to, my why don't you go to a waffle house you bitch only if it's blue that's a, that's a great segue that's only a segue. if it's blue that's New a segue my yeah today why doesn't someone lead me into that beautiful segue i set up Scott, set him up. There's waffles. So waffle no, house. I set him up for waffles. Who's got waffles? I don't know. Oh, this is, oh, it's a song. Well, you want some good food when you're not out here? What the fuck is this? Big yellow sign is your new best friend. They got waffles and bacon. Big yellow candy. sign. Coffee too, but an all star breakfast comes with some room. Comes with some room. There's room rules. Cause this ain't no waffle zoo, it ain't no waffle barn. It's a place, a waffle business run with style and charm. Style and charm. Save that rowdy biz for the other waffle shop. Follow the rules or someone's calling the cops. <laughs> really? Is that the way it works? Well, Stephen Colbert. No That's a Stephen Colbert song? This is Stephen Colbert. Have your fun, son, but don't have a problem. Okay. Well, new Stephen Colbert? This is his uh, his late show. Is it him? There was Waffle House was in the news. So he went and worked with uh, Sturgill Simpson, a country uh, guy, to yes. make a Waffle House song. Well, the reason why Waffle House is in the news is because of uh, Hurricane... Florence. Katrina. Florence. Which well... One? Regardless of whatever hurricane it is, their uh, FEMA actually has. They need an some index. real names. Like they need like Hurricane Death Slayer is like should be because no one's gonna run from Hurricane Normal. <laughs> well, they just go alphabetically and pick names. They have like the next twenty names picked out, from what I understand. So it, what I found interesting about Wild House is they actually work as a index for FEMA, the uh, the emergency federal emergency network, where if it's a green Waffle House, that means they they're open with a full menu. The, wait, what? So what they do is they they color code Waffle Houses because Waffle House is open twenty four seven, and they have like the way they're set up. You could tell how bad an area is. So if your region is in the yellow, that means there's a limited menu where maybe only local gas is working, but not necessarily the deep fryers. So like do they like change the color of the sign or something? Or no, this is just for FEMA. So, so FEMA, like if you look up at the Waffle House sign and it's yellow, you know you're fucked. But it's always yellow and it's, it's Waffle House, yellow. so you're no. Fucked. This isn't well. It's Waffle House, so. This isn't known you're to the fucked. patrons. This, this is, is t- only known to FEMA. And there's 2,100 locations. So if it's yellow, they might still serve coffee and eggs and bacon. But if it's red, that means it's closed, which means that there must be a really big problem in that area because they don't close for nothing except for, like, they're submerged underwater. Shootings. Well, shootings. Too. Even then, they stay open. Yeah, yeah you're right. They just, <laughs> they just rope off the section where the body is and... Wasn't there like a whole Kid Rock thing too where Kid Rock had a problem there and they kept it open? So. Yeah, well, it was Kid Rock, so no one gave us flying shit. Well, <laughs> what I. 
Warning, warning. Death bombs on the way. Waffle special at three. Half price. Get fries with that. Get fries with your waffles? That sounds awful. Pancake special. Please evacuate the area. There is Please a hurricane on area. the way. And remember to tip your waitress. Because <laughs> your waitress will still be there. She will still be there because we'll never let her leave. Yeah. That must be awful being a Waffle House employee. Can I top off your coffee for you? <laughs> How are you going to make sure you get there if you're a Waffle House person? How would you like them cooked? <laughs> they cook them by explosion. How would you like your eggs? What I find fascinating about this is that it, in a way, it kind of makes sense, right? Because the southeast of our country is in the hurricane territory, but they're also known for enjoying foods like... Chicken and waffles. Waffle House is a lot Why more prominent. Why you got to bring chicken into this? Why It's a Waffle because House. Because we're looking at a cultural yeah, analysis. Yeah, which, which Waffle House are we talking about? We're talking about like Center City Waffle Houses? Did you say a colorful analysis? <laughs> it says it's a broad band. You're just painting the brush with Waffle Houses? I didn't make that. I did not make this. In <laughs> I said bacon and eggs. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This was started in 2004. Like, even before Hurricane Katrina, this was their idea. Pretty sure but Hurricane I wish Katrina was right around 2004. It was 06. Racist. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> it was 06. <laughs> it was 06. Sorry. Yeah. I'm a, Fake news. I'm a racist because I've read a history book. Um, Pretty much. What's, what's in the history book? When black people didn't have the right to vote. Sure. Yeah. My thing about this is, I wish I were a fly on the wall <laughs> You're in, reaching there, dude. in the board meeting. <laughs> When the when the person who came up with this index decided to raise his hand because he you know you know he was sitting there and he was like oh I got the best idea I could think of St- stands up says sir I think we could really monitor these hurricanes by uh, Waffle House activity and they were like Todd you don't even work in this department are we still talking about waffles yeah, we're talking about was, Todd's great what's wrong with Todd's great joke. a legend was born. A le- the legend of Waffle wow. House time. Feel like what you needed to go is go swim in the deep blue sea. Did you? Uh, did you run you that joke by anyone around. before you tried that here? I did. You probably I, should have. Yeah, I did. Has anyone actually eaten at a Waffle House? I've never eaten at a Waffle House. Popeyes I count? have. You have. I have. I mean, I've also, I've also been all over this country. So sooner or later, you're going to come across a Waffle House. It's, Mostly the South. It's it's I hop but crappier. <laughs> it's I hop but, but instead I-hop of pancakes, I presume waffles. And they got pancakes too. Yeah, but it's like it's like Denny's with more tears and waffles and bullets and, and bullets. bullets. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So yeah, review well, time. Well, since it, 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 when we're inundated by a hurricane, it gets deep and blue and see. Waffle House has too. done some oh my good God. things. Waffle House Your does some was better, good dude. Yeah, <laughs> better. Some. A, We're tired of talking about Waffle House. Let's go to the deep blue sea too. No, my segue was better. I understand that, but we're going to talk I about want deep the acknowledgement. Say noob noob segue was better. I already said it. What's what the hell? I want what him to more say gratification it. Right. With a fucking smile to. on his face. Goddamn millennial. Oh, you're yeah. a fucking. How old are you? But also a millennial. I'm like 75 years old. Okay. <laughs> Donnie's 75. Uh, is this the music for Deep Blue C2? C- and they have the, music in, into the blue. It's called. That's with Jessica Alba. There's Deep, a song. Deep Blue C2. Oh. Is Hold on, I'm pretty sure the song refers to Deep Blue C2. In the waffles. Is this Genesis and Phil Collins? No, it's performed by Sean Murray. Oh, not Mendez. Sean the Shark Murray. Sean Mendez, you would love it. I love Sean Mendez. I would love it too. He's got a good voice. Who's Sean Mendez? He opened the Eagles game opening night. With what? In I don't know. The songs. This almost sounds like a Bond movie. Yeah, it's got a Bond feel. Well, he said the name of the movie in the song. Dude! Two! <laughs> Did he say Deep Lucy 2? I don't know. We were too busy uh, singing over top of it. So. Is there yeah. a reason we're talking about this one? Yeah, it's a movie. Cool. It Samuel Jackson is not in it. Samuel Jackson is not in it. 
Shark uh, juice. It'd be tougher in this show up again, consider what happened in the first one. Did he yes. die in the first one? He Spoiler died. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. He died in the first one. Damn. In the most pointless death ever. <laughs> well, he's monologue. It's great. Yeah, he had monologue. a great monologue, and then he just got eaten. Thomas Jane is also in that movie. Yeah. Before yeah, he survived. Predator. The only people that I remember being in Deep Blue, Deep Blue Sea LL Cool J? No. Yeah, he's in yeah, the first yeah. he was in the first one. Yeah. Yeah, With the Jessica Alba. There was a dad no. bod. She was not. No, there. that was into the deep. Yeah, that into was, the blue. Oh, thank or you. In the blue. Thank you. Rip Paul Walker. There was a character named Dad Bod. <laughs> in the sequel. Yes, dude. The you actors were, had no names. They you were, were just, in Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, Dad oh. Bod. Okay. Random white chick. She was also in it. Okay. And uh, things happen on a cheaper budget. It's a substantially cheaper. <laughs> In fact, the intro reminds me. Wait, did this movie just hit theaters? No, it hit Netflix. I don't know oh. if I would call that a theater. Oh, because <laughs> you can already get it on iTunes for five bucks. <laughs> yeah. The real question is, why did I watch this? <laughs> That's that the real a question. good question. I don't know. <laughs> I was I was tricked into watching it. Someone else was like, we should watch this. And I said, eh, and then they turned it on. So You know what you could have watched instead? Ready Player One. Uh, I didn't feel like it. Did you mm. like that movie? It was all right. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about Deep Blue Sea. I would watch it again, here. but I somehow don't know where it's at. What? How come you don't have the IMDb? And no, the- why are we oh. just looking at the eh, fucking eh. notes on your goddamn computer? Predator. Oh, no. Oh, way to be, way to be all over this shit, dude. Deep Blue Sea. T- you're not even searching the right thing. Deep Blue Sea. It came out in 2018. I know that much. IMDb. One and a half stars. 3.2. Yeah, I got 3.2 on IMDb. <laughs> Brilliant bill- <laughs> billionaire <laughs> named Carl Durant is experimenting on bull sharks, which soon rebel and cause havoc. Great synopsis. What's the Rotten Tomatoes? I'm, I, I'm genuinely I don't even curious. know if it has a Rotten Tomatoes. It well, might not. It might. The tomato meter, 10% audience liked it. I don't even have a critic score. That's how bad it was. <laughs> I, I am the only audience. critic who decided yeah. to review it. <laughs> it's yeah. essentially the first movie, just with a cheaper budget. Wait. The last... Wait a second. The does, last... Does my, does my opinion not count? Oh, uh, son of a bitch. Your opinion does not I really count. feel like I should oh, be involved shit, it's the shark. in this I was conversation hoping. when we're talking about this movie. I mean, come on. This is a movie still, about I, me. I was the hoping Meg to get is, through some substance before this guy showed the, up. The Meg is its not really about a particular shark. These Meg. are like my little cousins. It's like my little pony, but me. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah. just like my little buddies, you know, my buddy and me. My buddy, my buddy and this me. This movie was clearly uh, racist, too, because... Uh, Anyone of any ethnicity other than white, what do you think happened to them? Did they get eaten? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Yes, they all died. Uh, from what I understand. What flavors were they? Just from listening to this show, was I understand there, was, the Meg was there dark enjoys. Because I love me some dark meat. I understand the Meg enjoys an ethnic menu. Yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> I do. I, I enjoy I do a Chinese. I get Indian. I love falafel. <laughs> and... You know, other ethnicities. Ethnicities. <laughs> ethnicities. Oh, you got a little something in your teeth there. Ethnicities. Oh, yep. You need a big toothpick there, Meg. I do. I see. Let's uh, just get this bone right here. Oh wait, that's noob noob's penis. <laughs> that was a. You said it was a big bone. <laughs> it is. Oh. It is. Uh, you don't. You'd be surprised. <laughs> just like when I said I was seventy feet long when I'm only thirty. <laughs> You'd be so, yes. There's a lot other of be other about. than this guy showing up. The last shark movie I really enjoyed was uh, the Shallows with uh, Blake Lively. Lively. I thought, that's what I said. You said Lively. Well, I just put a little emphasis on that. Mm. She well, is Lively. I like her. I would about eat it. her all night long. I just want to put that out there. I am really a big fan of uh, of Blake Lively. I thought I figured you'd be a bigger fan of Ryan Reynolds. Uh, you know what? I would not b- mind being the center in that Oreo cookie. Oh my god! <laughs> I would fill it with so much cream. I know, just just all over. Ryan my Reynolds. Face. I would let him eat my ass six ways to Sunday. <laughs> What is the I am? What is the? Yeah, you thought I was being bad. Anyway, what the fuck? You said it was ten percent. 
Audience ten, oh for, my yeah, god, I gave I him 100% 10, 10% audience in bed. score for Deep Blue Sea. Hold on, what I was it? Let him shit my mouth. No, 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 no 10% <laughs> for uh, for Rotten Tomatoes. And for Deep no, Blue sea. no critic score? No, there's no critic score to be found. It's it's equal, at least, with Gotti. On just, the zero? Just maybe not as good, yeah. It, does it have a zero or just There's nothing? nothing. Why, can't it's just nothing. Why can't we do a news story on Ryan Reynolds' Dude, I am somewhere? so much better than Gotti anyway. I will eat that bitch right down into her hole. I Is will say the shallow says uh, 78%. Yeah, uh, that's what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. I said it. Okay. This movie was uh, unfortunate to say the least. Would have been better with Ryan Reynolds. Oh I don't know that Most Ryan Reynolds are. could have even saved if it. If Ryan Reynolds there, that would have been everything. I love that guy. Oh, my God. Me too. Oh! Oh, sh- oh, damn it. I'm going to jail now. I don't know. Uh, there's also, like, baby sharks in it, and somehow they make a noise. Are they cute? I, are they cute no, little they baby just sharks? eat people. Do they get boopsies? No, they just eat people. Why don't... Maybe they eat people because they didn't get boopsies. Mm, mm. Perhaps. Right. It's literally identical to the first movie, except they change it like a teeny tiny bit and it's substantially lower budget like five dollars but worth a budget the C- they in fact they probably spent more money than they needed to on cgi because the cgi was bad the one part i was going to say though is that there seemed like there was a family guy joke in the beginning where there's like these russian these russian uh i don't know what they are they're like some other language speaking fishermen and they get eaten just like in Family Guy. Like the Portuguese. Two. Yeah, the yeah. Portuguese sailors. So you're going to make a Tomb Raider reference with the fishermen. Well, with the Meg. I thought the Meg was like the ultimate Family Guy joke when they made bigger jokes. Oh, I love this song! It's great! Is this like part of your childhood? This song is fucking fantastic. There's an EDM song version of this. Bobby Shark. Play the EDM version. It's a good song. Look up the EDM version. Can we not talk about yeah, no. What? Let's just not talk about Grandma Shark. Unfortunate things happen to her. Grandma Shark. The, Grandma the Shark. Movie? Grandma Shark has no teeth. Exactly. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the whole more point, fun. man. That's the joke. They call it a gummy. Thanks for giving us the joke, yeah. Meg. So wait, there was a joke. I, I I stopped listening. What? I'm listening to the song. I don't think we should. Uh, it, Deep Blue Sea Two was uh, not worth watching. Okay, thanks, Maybe, man. That was a waste of a waste of my time. I you know what? That. You know what is worth watching? Ozark. Is it? Yeah, pretty much. Ozark season two. Well, and one, obviously. And one. I mean, I guess you could skip season one, but you'd be confused. That yeah, it would make no sense. Yeah. It'd still be enjoyable, though. Would it, though? I think Ozark has taken uh, the lead as far as possibly the best show on Netflix. I think it's better than House of Cards. It's better than the Marvel shows. Is there anything you could think that it that might come close? What was the first? It's better than the Marvel shows for House sure. House of Cards. Yeah, House of, no. Yeah, it's much better. Because House, House of Cards, Cards lost like believability after like the, the second or third season. House of Cards lost like what? In like season twelve or something? Season it's six. But now without Kevin Spacey. And it's ending. Oh. So it's at season seven without Kevin Spacey. I gotta look at yeah. I gotta figure out what episode I was in in House of Cards. I was in an episode. I was part of a gay protest rally. Yeah, House of Cards lost me at like season three. I think it was three. No, my what issue I was with in. Netflix I gotta shows, go back and find that. They don't typically have legs. They can't go the distance. You know? Well, like, it's tough to go any distance without legs. You need wheels. Yes. Thanks, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Way to go there. Really good analysis. Hashtag analysis from Scott. So, <laughs> Is it better than Game of Thrones? No. Mm. I don't even want... Yes. I don't even... I don't even watch Ozark, but I know it's not better than Game of Thrones. Right? Game of Thrones is pretty good. Thrones is really good. I don't know if it, it sustains it. It went it. downhill, though. So, I, But I, I guess a better comparison would be Breaking Bad. Yeah. Because it's a crime drama. And or The Wire. Or The Wire. It's not quite at that level yet because it hasn't had as many epi- like seasons or episodes. But as far as consistency goes, I think Ozark is more consistent because you're only looking at what 10 episodes per season and you don't get a lot of fluff like 
Literally, what happens in the first two episodes of Ozark, you could have an entire show about just what happens in the first two episodes. They are really good about keeping your attention. Isn't and that what the storyline and you know not 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 fluffing you too much? Wouldn't you say that the following eighteen episodes are what the first two episodes are about? What do you mean? The following 18 episodes are what the first two episodes are about? Yeah, I'm just making fun of you. I just don't think that Jason Bateman has really great wow. range. Oh. I, 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 I've dropped this before. I, I think Laura Linney is fantastic. I think she has a, a incredible uh, so, ver, you know, versatility. But I just... I'm not, I love Jason Bateman as Michael Bluth. From Arrested how are, Development. I how, think he's very funny, and I think he fits the part well. The problem is that he plays the same character in most things that I've seen him in. I think this is more different than you've probably ever seen him before. And Laura Linney in the first season of Ozark was kind of like, she was falling into Skylar territory from Breaking Bad, like that Yikes. whiny like wife type character. Yeah. And by the end of mm. season two, she is a bad, bad mama. She's like, she's mama bear. She's like, she definitely, she definitely did the pull a full one eighty on on like the strength of her character. She mm-hmm. is from season one to season two. She season is two, a very like, different person. She's awesome. She's yeah, because I, I was not a fan of hers in the first season because there was just like a lot of stuff going on that I just didn't like. Her character wasn't super likable. And now you're like, okay, she's Mama Bear. And she's got to take care of her. She's the one who knocks on the door at night. She is. It's also it's also Isn't funny. That a Breaking Bad. It mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Yeah. It is a Breaking. Bad. We're not talking about that. Thanks. It's man. also funny, like Jason Bateman's character is how how much he goes down the hole, like he, what he <clears throat> turns into, from what from what he started to what he became towards the end of this season is just. Another complete 180. It's just, it's just the transition these characters have taken is just incredible. But he's not Walter White. I, I found that through season two, in season one, he was very dynamic about what he was getting done and his abilities to help him get things accomplished. In season two, you see him stuck in neutral where he can't really move forward or move backwards. He's trapped. And you see, instead of a man embracing what he's becoming into... Uh, you see him, it, it horrifies him, and it scares him. Yeah. I'm, everyone's great. I mean, except the, the daughter. Is the daughter fl- still um, sucks. The daughter She's sucks. still horrible. I still horrible. remember the episode in season one where the daughter was drowning for like yeah. 20 minutes. I, do, I wish although, she drowned. I do, I do look Isn't forward. Lost in space? What's, what's, the, the the, what's her name? I, I look, I look forward space. to her next appearance when she appears as the scarecrow in the next Batman movie. Oh, you mean the attorney? <laughs> No, yeah, no. As as the scarecrow, the villain. Yeah, the yeah. the female attorney. No, he's saying the daughter. No, oh, the, the daughter. daughter. Yeah, the daughter. Dude, when what she... about the female attorney? She sure as heck could be the scarecrow. Oh yeah, she is just a bad yeah. ass. Well, no, for for her playing a villain, actually, she could be a great villain. I was commenting more on like the daughter's. He's he's calling the daughter ugly. Yeah, physique. Yeah, her God, phys- yeah. her physique is very. I just find her scarecrowish annoying. Well, and I think selfish. we're like zero for zero on jokes tonight. I mean, we're no, just, you're uh, doing really well. We're not, we're not doing that good here. I'm no, laughing. I feel on like the this inside. is kind of a just a whole lot. Stop of. kissing ass, buddy. I'm st- still fucking making you walk home. Yeah, I was, was it, I was being did sarcastic. I miss the part where Scarecrow was funny? Like, unless you made a Scarecrow Mrs. No, King joke. No, I was talking. He about, was just trying to call her ugly, just I like was you just called. Saying the, she was ugly. The Jack Ryan girl, tub tub. Yeah. <laughs> Which never actually happened. Yeah, it did. Like, it happened news. with your eyes. You had to read between the lines. <laughs> we, it was definitely there. We could go back or to the tape. Or read between the rolls, as you would say. Ooh. Uh, we could go back to the tape. We'll find it. None of those things happened. These things the happened. duct tape to keep up her fat. I thought she looked nice, man. Yeah, she, yeah I, I have no problem. It's, it's Z over here that's calling her an orca whale. <laughs> I mean, compared right. to Amy Schumer Z, that was just wrong. Yeah, I don't even Again, know why you would do such. You were a like, thing. "Wow, it looked like she ate Amy Schumer and then tried to date Jack Ryan." <laughs> None of those things happened. Instead of fighting biological terrorism, she's probably trying to find a cure for weight loss. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where? Would she... These are lines you wrote down. I'm looking at your computer. <laughs> I know it's right uh, here. Uh, it's all what's right this? there. What's this about putting a hazmat suit to deal with an eclair? This is just wrong, Z. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got a real laugh there. Yeah, there you go. Z, uh, that happened. guilty until proven innocent over there. That yes, guy. I've been accused, and allegedly none of those things happened. <laughs> Well, you yeah, know. allegedly they didn't happen. Literally, they did. 
literally. Well, that yeah. is that is how this world works now. Guilty until proven innocent. Yeah. So what were we talking about again? Ozark. Ozark. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that guy. Cheese and crackers. Is there anyone? Uh, Had, wow, that is a great. If you made the job. joke, I don't care. I just I'm not listening to you anyway. You totally you just, just stole up. it. So it's okay. don't care. No, Ozark had probably one of the best. I don't know what he is. Anti? No, he's more of a villain. The FBI agent. Oh, that's a good point. Petty. Agent Petty. One of the most complex characters. He's like an asshole, but then you kind of understand that he's being an asshole for well, a he's reason. He's trying to put away criminals. Like they are criminals, and they are endangering their family. Like there's a you know there's a dynamic where you know um, Marty Bird is risking his family's life to keep doing these things and the FBI is like we'll take care of you we'll put you in protective custody yeah it just seems like he's really bad at it though the way he goes about it he's, he's an really awful bad FBI agent. he's an awful agent yeah he, he goes about and does things all the wrong way but uh, yeah he is he's a, a fascinating character a great actor there's literally um, very few characters that aren't good that don't like there's really everybody's almost it's weird because if you, I feel like if you read, met these actors in real life, you'd be shocked at what they were. Like the Schnells, would you really want to meet them in real life if they were real people? No, the wife is insane. Yeah, but the, I'm sure the actors are oh, I'm sure genuinely a, nice people. I'm sure she's but, a very nice lady in but real life. But they're so freaking convincing that you're just like, these are the world, like everybody, they're all just scumbags. Just like the kids. I person. just hate, the kids suck, but I mean, that's, I, I don't like children anyway, so that like, you know, makes sense for me. I think that, I find this, the son is kind of interesting because he's running his mm-hmm. own scams and learning yeah, the craft. Yeah, the son's got a little bit, so, so it's just the daughter, the daughter still sucks. She's the Skyler. Ruth, Ruth makes up for it though. Yeah, Ruth is awesome. I think she's a great actress and she has a very complex storyline it, it's it's uh it's interesting it's all about family dynamic and how much are you willing to tolerate with your family i didn't notice as many themes through like the first episode had some very clear themes this season didn't have as many themes but i think the second season was just as good as the first season i didn't see any drop off in quality I definitely got hooked on it. I got up to. I'm I, currently I'm at episode eight, and the only reason I had to stop was because it was three o'clock in the morning, and I need to actually get some sleep. But uh, e- I easily could have stayed up the entire night and just watched all of them. Yeah. It's definitely they keep your attention the whole time. It's absolutely bingeable. I would definitely recommend it. If you haven't seen it, you, you have to. the The weird thing about the show, though, is it's so dark. Like it's shot so dark. Like I, I don't know if Missouri is is that dark of a state, but Zack Snyder effect. It really looks like they that. Do that. Right? It's all washed but out. I think they they do that just for the the um for the feeling on this show. Like other shows will shoot dark because they got fight scenes and they can't, you know, that way you don't see how crappy the fighters actually are and how bad the effects are. I think they just do this dark just to to get you in that you know mindset. They definitely do that for emotional value. Yeah, for the darkness. I mean, try not to spoil too much, but uh, literally some of these people do perhaps some of the most horrific things I've ever seen in in television. Like, there's some pretty bad things. There's, you know, every show's got murders and things like that, but this is something where, like, they do things with children that you're just like, holy cow, this couldn't get much worse than that. Is so. that story development or is it shock appeal? It's story development because they set it from the first season. Okay. It's something that was uh, carried from the first season to the second season. At one point, I was thinking like, oh, are they trying to just do like an add a kid type scenario where, you know, you add a kid to try to add more drama. But then once they connect the dots, you're like, they telegraph what's going to happen. But you kind of feel like, oh, maybe it'll never actually happen, and then you just kind of get hit with it, like, oh, hmm. this really sucks. Well, it is. It's it's. You're like, I don't want this to happen. Please don't let this happen. Don't let this happen. And then, yeah, it's gonna fucking happen, and you have no choice. Yeah, and you, you have you're along for the ride. You feel it's weird because a lot of the episodes are directed. At least a handful of them are directed by uh, Jason Bateman, and they do give you this sense of uh, dread. Some things kind of come out of left field where you weren't expecting them. There's some shocking twists. But at the same time, they telegraph a lot of things. So you're just 
kind of waiting for that hammer to fall where it's just this existential dread that you know is it's it's never going to work out and they are real good when it when the hammer does drop you're still you're still hit by it it's still it it happens it's gonna happen you know it happens and still when it does happen it's even worse than what you expected yeah absolutely and i think that's what's one of the best things about the show and makes it different from breaking bad you know it has a different tone I would say it doesn't have the same level of uh, dialogue, maybe, that Breaking Bad had, where it's not as quotable. There's not as many quotable lines, and there's not, you know, you don't have Brian Cranston delivering these, like, classic lines, but it, the quality of the show, the way it's directed, the way it's acted, the way that uh, every character contributes to the plot and not in incidental ways or unbelievable ways really i think elevates the show to uh cl- a classic level I-, I hope they can do it for another two or three more seasons and then i hope they have a clear cut exit just like breaking bad did breaking bad knew they were going to go for five seasons didn't go for any longer than that so I- i'm hoping this show does the a similar pattern and we get to see where this ride goes Unlike House of Cards, which is just a mess now. Yeah, Kevin Spacey, underage, sexed himself right out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Bad stuff. Yeah. 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 Brr, brr. So, to recap. Glad, glad we, uh, glad we heard you say that comment, too. Thanks. <laughs> we all You want to take a break and watch some DBZ? Or? <laughs> no? No, God! Oh. No, God, please, no! No! Sure? No! D- Donnie, you want to watch some? No! I'll play some Budokai. Budokai okay. 3. Budokai, which one? Budokai 3. Okay. That's right. What's cool. Budokai? Did I say that on the ep- yeah, yeah, yeah. the podcast, previous episode, that Budokai 3 was the best one? Or you what's just... Budokai? No, I know that Budokai, Budokai, Budokai is. is. Oh, okay. Come on, we never talk about Budokai. Yeah, Budokai is th- it's a good Don't game. act like you know about Budokai 3. It's a lot I don't, of fun. I don't know what the fuck mm. Bu- Budokai is. He said he didn't is. know what Budokai was. I have no mm-hmm. idea. You mm. want to know what Budokai is. Is this Budokai? Is this after Bukaki too? No. Okay, we all know you're going to get Jump Force, and that has Dragon Ball Z characters in it. What the hell is Jump Force? No! It's a fighting God! game that's coming out soon. PS4 2019. Has all the anime characters from the Jump Force manga, which is like everything. Unless it has One Punch Man. I think it, it will. If it does, then I would just be him and beat everybody. So what would be the point? Fake news. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about that game. So, yeah. So in a recap, uh, Orq recommends Ozark. Does not recommend deep blue balls. No, that will just give you deep blue recommends balls. Recommends that you Google blue waffle. Yes. Recommends you watch Rick and Morty. And waffle houses are popular in the South. Norm MacDonald has a show. Yes. He does that, have that a show. show. What's it called? That. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> also, there's a really hidden gem of a song in this episode, Shark Doot 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 Doot. Oh, yes. Hidden gem. Which is fantastic. And you should play us out with that. Now I gotta bring it back up on Facebook again. Good, uh, I don't care. We'll so wait. if you like what you heard here today, and I'm gonna question whether you did or didn't, uh, you can go over to Instagram and find us at orc underscore you. You can go to Facebook.com. Parents are strange. And that's a fucking ad. This is yeah. your fault, noob noob. This one have happened if you didn't keep it's, your fucking mouth shut. It's worth the ad. Uh, go. Blow me. Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? So, yeah, orc underscore you. Uh, Facebook.com slash our reviews will kill you. Go over to YouTube and you can search our reviews will kill you and you'll find us there. Go to Vero and go to our reviews will kill you. Go to our reviews will kill you dot com. And I, I think that's everything. I, I believe you have a show on Amazon. I feel though, like right? I feel like I'm struggling right now i feel like oh, we but all you are do have uh I you can also did do you say have that? yes so most shows most episodes of orky reviews is brought to you by this one's not but all the other shows are brought to you by blue iron available i love this it's going like daddy shark is going behind us blue iron available on amazon video with your amazon prime subscription um, just watch it. You heard me talk about it earlier. And keep an eye out for Scott Will Kill You Podcast Network, Emporium Incorporated, Empire. Trade show. Trade show. Yes. L- LLC. 
We will uh, dot com rent out a large stadium so you can uh, have a show dot on Roger Podcast. And look for me soon on the Scott Will Kill You comedy tour. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Absolutely. So from Daddy Shark, Mommy Shark, Grandma Shark, Pop Pop Shark, and uh, Little Brother Shark. To all of you at home, we love y'all. 